What's good, y'all? Welcome to episode of Buzz Boys. I'm cranking them shits out today. I told y'all, this is like my fourth or fifth video today. Y'all should really be enjoying today. For people to say I don't make enough content. Y'all should be really happy today. But anyway, this video is specifically about what Mitch Kupchak said about Miles Bridges, which I'll let y'all hear. Say, you know, as an organization, you know, we love Miles. Okay, and... um you know, we're, go we're going to bring him back. Um, he's been great for the franchise. And I believe with his work, I think he's only going to get better. So there you have it. We're going to do what we got to do. We're going to keep Miles. Everything's going to be okay. He believes he can only get better. And that's the thing about these deals. You know, whether you think he deserves the max, whether you doesn't think he deserves the max, this isn't about this year or what he did last year. I mean, in some parts it is, but it's about... Is he going to do this? What do we think he's going to look like two, three, four years from now? If Miles Bridges is averaging 27 points in the next two years, you know, say, imagine trying to get a deal done then. This is about locking him down for his prime. I mean, when this deal is over, he's still going to be, what, 28, 29? Like, come on. this That's what this is about. So, you know, you got to look at the upside. And obviously, Mitch thinks he has that. And interestingly enough, literally like five minutes ago, news just came out that we uh, provided qualifying offers to Miles and to Cody Martin as well. So for people that thought Cody Martin was going to be gone, sorry, got some bad news. He will be with us next year unless somebody makes a good offer that is just too much for us and we let him go. But basically, uh, a qualifying offer is what makes them a restricted free agent so yeah um so he is officially they're both officially restricted free agents um cody martin i don't know what the market is for him but miles bridges it is locked in he is going to be a part of this team for the foreseeable future at this point i don't really know um what the pistons are offering but yeah i'm just trying to finish this video but uh, like I said, I don't really know what the Pistons are offering, you know, but the Pistons, I'm hearing from their reporters that they're not necessarily going to uh, offer a max deal. The Pacers are another team that have said to have interest in Miles Bridges. They're not really offering a max deal. So it doesn't seem like at this point anybody's really offering the max. So that's why it's important for us to keep a level head and not just go and throw money. But I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see. So, um... Like I said, I don't really know what's been offered yet. Um, we Our qualifying offer was like $7 million. That's not like the real offer. It's just to make him a restricted free agent. I don't know what Cody Martin's qualifying offer was. But for the Hornets to stay under the cap, um, if we can offer a contract less than $24 million a season, we'll stay under the cap, uh, under the luxury tax, I should say. Um Five years, $139 million would keep us under the luxury tax. And he did say he would take a pay cut to help. So, I don't know. We'll see. Um, you know, I do think he will be in that 25-ish range. 25, 26, 27 million. As long as you keep under 30 million, I think that's good. But I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Um, I'm just glad to see Mitch Kupchak came out immediately today and already let it be known. Look, we're keeping Miles and our intention is to keep him just so we can quiet all the noise down. It's just been a lot of stuff just circling and swirling around. So I'm glad that he got that under control. But I want to do a whole separate video on that just because it's like that was like the whole big thing when it came to uh, the press conference. Like Mitch was like, yeah, I can't really talk about it, uh, you know we're keeping miles like what the fuck <laughs> you say you can't talk about it then you literally go out there and say everything so that was that was interesting to see but um i think the deal is going to get done I, i'm interested to see what other teams offer and see if they try to run our tab up but like i said i don't think anybody else is really going to offer our max so hopefully we can get them under the max hopefully we can stay up under the luxury tax because we know jordan is cheap as fuck and if we do get close to the luxury tax that's where we can see a trade happened to try to dump some salary, a, a, you know, a Terry Rozier, Westbrook trade, Gordon Hayward, Westbrook trade. I don't know. Try to just, I don't know, free up money, possibly cut Westbrook or whatever. The fuck. It, you know, I don't know. But it's going to be interesting to see how, how the offseason plays out. Oh, and we just got breaking news, man. No James Booknight for Summer League. James Booknight has underwent 
surgery on his fucking pinky or some shit. Let's see, Rod Boone said that shit. But I'm just, it's just so much going on in this shop, bro. Like, hold on. Rod Boone, hold on. Rod Boone said James Booknight had surgery on his right pinky finger yesterday and will miss Summer League. So that, that fucking sucks that we're going to miss. You know, it's always somebody getting injured and miss the Summer League, bro. Like, Malik Monk missed Summer League like every year that he was supposed to play summer league so it's just like god damn it here goes it's just some unnecessary bullshit um yeah summer league he was supposed to he was supposed to um you know just receive hella playing time so i don't know bro that that fucking sucks but yeah it's giving malik monk vibes like that's the same time to malik monk always get hurt and fucking miss summer league but i mean book night played last year in fucking summer league but god damn it the fuck happened to his fucking pinky finger like what the fuck you had surgery on your pinky finger what the fuck did you do i don't know man if more news comes out i might make a video about that but you know summer league is supposed to be really big for him it's supposed to be big for us in our young core so um i don't know we'll see we'll see what comes out of that uh who's who does his minutes go to i don't know we're gonna see more bryce mcgowns i can assure you that but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. I just want to talk about just a lot of the Hornets news that popped off today. Hope y'all enjoyed the content. I made a lot of con content. I already got like five or six new subscribers today. So I appreciate y'all. If y'all new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, like, comment. Peace.